My name is Jayla Williams. I'm 18 and I'm from Newport, Rhode Island. Basically, I'm an aspiring game designer. The games I have designed so far is sort of like Street Fighter type game. So I mainly fight. I made them in a program called Scratch. My goal is to create games that could help people with certain disabilities or people that have depression and anxiety, like me. For instance, I have a condition called Asperger's and I had a tremendous amount of anxiety, but whenever I would play games, it would calm me down and distract me from all the worries and all the stuff in the world. To have games that can relate to people or certain characters that can relate to people to make them feel like suspense, a little bit of anger, sadness, it would most likely be an RPG, which is stands for like a role-playing game. So things like Skyrim, where you have choices upon choices to control the way the story ends. Sometimes it would be hard, but then I would ultimately like figure it out, and then it would start to get easier as I get through it. I was like, ah, this is annoying. But then I started to get more and more. I started to get it more. The more I got it, the easier the flow was for me. It's doable, it's not just for nerds or geeks. <laughs> when I was little, my older brother had a gig. And he taught me how to play when I was really young. So that got me really interested into gaming right then and there. All throughout school, I had been wanting to learn how they make it, and all that stuff. Through middle school, that was, I'm just gonna say right now, that was torture. At that time, I was anti-social and trying to make friends, but no one would wanna be my friend because they saw me as a typical geek who plays video games all the time and doesn't talk about anything else. Or as a weird person that doesn't have any feelings or whatever. Not just that, also the way they taught me just wasn't the way I should have been learning in the first place. So when I went to the Met, it all changed very quickly. And that all segues into how they let me do all my stuff and that's revolve around my interests, like gaming, technology, and how it could help you. What Fab Newport did for me was basically what it says up there, figure it out. Fab Newport not only provided a safe place for me, but also provided me with the tools to figure out what I wanted to do. Once I figured that out, it made me think of school in a different way. They've helped me with multiple opportunities like taking a 3D modeling class and an AP computer science class. And I was able to play around with things that I actually never got the chance to do, especially the 3D printing. I started to create things like a 3DS case, a phone case that I'm currently making right now. Without their support or knowledge, I wouldn't be able to be where I am right now. Determination because without that, I would probably, again, wouldn't be here. It helped me overcome some things, like the Autodesk certification, because I took it three times. I failed the first two times, but the, the third time, I nailed it. No matter where they're from or what their backgrounds are, they should keep straight forward on the path on what they wanted to do and not to take those wrong turns.